In the realm of physics, the Swampland refers to a collection of low-energy theories that, despite appearing consistent, don't quite play well with quantum gravity. Theories that look promising, but fail the ultimate test when gravity enters the picture. Now let's talk about quantum gravity. Unlike traditional quantum field theory, quantum gravity has some unique quirks. One of the main differences is how locality works. In quantum gravity, the local structure of observables isn't fundamental, it's emergent. To put it simply, the detailed structure of space and time that we're familiar with only shows up under certain conditions. A fascinating example of this is the ADS-CFT correspondence. In this framework, the local field theory we see is just an approximation emerging from a deeper, more complex theory. It's like seeing a picture come into focus the closer you get. Adding to the intrigue, quantum gravity suggests that different space-time topologies might contribute to the gravitational path integral. This means our familiar concept of space-time could be an emergent property, shaped by the most dominant configuration. But here's where it gets even more interesting. UV and IR, or ultraviolet and infrared, are closely linked in quantum gravity. This relationship is beautifully illustrated in black hole thermodynamics. The entropy of a black hole, calculated using a semi-classical IR theory, actually reveals the density of gravitational UV states. It's like a cosmic dance where the extremes of the energy spectrum are intertwined. Enter the Swampland program initiated by Kumran Varfa. This program aims to identify universal principles shared by all quantum gravity theories. Varfa argued that the Swampland is much larger than the string theory landscape, which is already vast with its many false vacuums. The no-global symmetry conjecture states that any symmetry in quantum gravity is either broken or gauged. In other words, there are no accidental symmetries in quantum gravity. The original motivation for the conjecture goes back to black holes. Hawking radiation of a generic black hole is only sensitive to charges that can be measured outside of the black hole, which are charges under gauge symmetries. Therefore, it is believed that the process of black hole formation and evaporation violates any conservation which is not protected by gauge symmetry. The no-global symmetry conjecture can also be derived from ADS-CFT correspondence in ADS. The completeness of spectrum hypothesis conjectures that in quantum gravity the spectrum of charges under any gauge symmetry is completely realized. This conjecture is universally satisfied in string theory but is also motivated by black hole physics. The entropy of charged black holes is non-zero. Since the exponential of entropy counts the number of states, the non-zero entropy of black holes suggests that for sufficiently high charges, any charge is realized by at least one black hole state. The weak gravity conjecture, WGC, is a conjecture regarding the strength gravity can have in a theory of quantum gravity relative to the gauge forces in that theory. It roughly states that gravity should be the weakest force in any consistent theory of quantum gravity. The weak gravity conjecture postulates that every black hole must decay unless it is protected by supersymmetry. Suppose there is a U1 gauge symmetry. There is an upper bound on the charge of the black holes with a given mass. The black holes that saturate that bound are extremal black holes. The extremal black holes have zero Hawking temperature. However, whether or not a black hole with a charge and a mass that exactly satisfies the extremality condition exists depends on the quantum theory. But given the high entropy of the large extremal black holes, there must exist many states with charges and masses that are arbitrarily close to the extremality condition. Weak gravity conjecture can be generalized to higher form gauge symmetries. String dualities have played a crucial role in developing the modern understanding of string theory by providing a non-perturbative window into UV physics. In string theory, when one takes the vacuum expectation values of the scalar fields of a theory to a certain limit, a dual description always emerges. An example of this is T-duality, where there are two dual descriptions to understand a string theory with an internal geometry of a circle. However, each perturbative description becomes valid in a different regime of the parameter space. The circle's radius manifests itself as a scalar field in the lower dimensional theory. If one takes the value of this scalar field to infinity, the resulting theory can be described by the original higher dimensional theory. The new description includes a tower of light states corresponding to the Kaluza-Klein (KK) particles 
On the other hand, if we take the size of the circle to zero, the strings that wind around the circle will become light. T-duality is the statement that there exists an alternative description which captures these light winding states as KK particles. Note that in the absence of a string, there is no reason to believe any states should become light in the limit where the size of the circle goes to zero. Distance conjecture quantifies the above observation and states that it must happen at any infinite distance limit of the parameter space. A stronger version of the original distance conjecture additionally postulates that the lightest tower of states at any infinite distance limit is either a KK tower or a string tower. In other words, the leading tower of states can either be understood via dimensional reduction of a higher dimensional theory, just like the example provided above, or as excitations of a weakly coupled string. This conjecture is often further strengthened by imposing the string to be a fundamental string. In conclusion, the exploration of the swampland in quantum gravity opens up new frontiers in theoretical physics. From the no global symmetry conjecture to string dualities and the distance conjecture, these concepts challenge our understanding of the universe. But what lies ahead in this quest for knowledge? As we venture deeper into the labyrinth of theoretical physics, researchers are continually developing new frameworks and conjectures that could one day lead to a unified theory of everything. One such promising avenue is the study of quantum field theories in higher dimensions which could reveal new symmetries and dualities. Moreover, the integration of machine learning and artificial intelligence into theoretical physics is beginning to bear fruit. These advanced computational techniques can help us explore vast parameter spaces and identify hidden patterns that might otherwise remain obscured. Another exciting direction is the ongoing research into holography and the ADAS CFT correspondence, which provides a powerful tool for understanding the relationship between gravity and quantum field theories. This duality offers a window into the quantum nature of space-time itself, potentially bridging the gap between general relativity and quantum mechanics.